I wanted to say a bit more about these mini online retreats I'm doing, going to the core and opening to the truth. And this, this is really about a dance we can do where in the one side we can go to the core of our experience, the embodied felt sense, the inner intelligence of our organism, which I would call is like going to the core. And this is often the domain of like uh, trauma integration or um, meeting our attachment pain or object relations challenges, our survival, a way of surviving and um, our, our kind of inherent beliefs we've inherited in our lives. And to go on this journey does need skill because there's one, one thing is we've often learned to resist and um, and we've created identities around actually moving away from this core or misunderstanding what our core is actually telling us and often actually mistrusting the messages that are coming through our body or misreading them and so when we're practicing it's really important to know how to discern and meet and understand ways we can move away from our core and how we can learn to trust its messages but there's also another danger with um, kind of the paradigm of uh, working with our trauma or trauma informed is we can actually start to have an identity of being broken or wounded or a problem that we need to fix. And in a way, this can actually be part of <clears throat> what's at our core, like a, a mistrust or a or a sense of something being off. And then we go into um, ways of being where we're trying to search for and, and um, resolve this sense of woundedness, which is actually a misperception at the core. And so it takes a bit of discernment and, and group practice is amazing for that and uh, well-guided meditation where it's not about us trying to resolve but come into a deeper trust and participation with how our organism already intelligently knows how to resolve past unresolved pain or um, how to integrate difficult memories or um, allow emotions to reflow in their kind of natural intelligent way. So in these retreats we're going to be doing I'm going to be doing this three series. There's going to be a focus on how we can come more into flow and harmony with this our kind of inner core. And then in, in polarity with this, I also wanted to explore opening to the truth. And traditionally, um, it's often depicted in the spiritual traditions that there's generally these like what's considered the downward path and the upward path. So the downward path is like the down into the body, into the earth, into the primalness of our being. And the upward path is this like transcendence. It's like going beyond or um, opening to consciousness or the ground of being and, and seeing that there we, there's no brokenness, that there's more an inherent peace and um, trust and oneness to our experience, uh, often called a, a unitive, like a unity experience. And sometimes this downward and upward path can be in conflict, but actually what I've seen is they can dance together because if we start to explore opening to the truth of our experience, there's already a wholeness there's already a, an okayness, a, a, a silence, a contentment that doesn't need us to be working on ourselves and developing and trying to fix what's actually already inherently intelligent and knows how to resolve itself. And why I want to bring these together is because it's easy for these two paths to be seen as in opposition or um, you know, you've got on the one side that you've got to do your trauma work and on the other side no you just got to surpass your ego or uh, you've got to see through your ego and um, 
just be in the oneness like there, there's nothing to fix but at the same time there's like well yeah but what about all these difficulties I'm having and this challenge in my experience and getting into difficult relationships and codependencies like if it's all one how come it's still difficult and I actually think we can elegantly move between the two of these and that's what these retreats are going to be for how we can more skillfully navigate the downward and upward path um, and actually see that they're deeply interconnected and the more we open to the truth usually the more able we are to allow and turn towards where there's unresolved or difficult sensations within us difficult memories but at the same time if we turn towards where there's pain or limiting beliefs that need closer look and in opening to that or feeling more of ourselves becoming more primal and embodied actually helps us to realize the interconnected nature and the unitive experience that underlies everything and there's going to be one more dimension in this uh, three series uh, of retreats we're actually going to start to explore this on a collective level because I see the same things happening on a collective level because we can actually um, skillfully explore how as an individual we're impacted by the collective consciousness like how we affected by the great wars how we affected by the famine and poverty and the tragedy in the world the horrible crime that goes on the the, uh, the, the huge conflicts that humanity has and there's a way we can actually start to explore especially in group practice where we actually see where these collective level phenomena are actually having an impact on our identity and our experience as an individual and we can more skillfully start to navigate collective consciousness and intergenerational trauma and, and, and getting in contact with a kind of lineage of our kind of experience but it's the same thing where if we become focused on the pain and the tragedy of humanity we miss the celebration, the triumphs, the, the wonderful um, human expression and love that's expressing everywhere as well and, and, and as we open to seeing the beauty we also can get more contact with yeah, integrating what's painful and being able to go to these polarities again and dancing um, so we become more integrated on this kind of conscious collective level so if this speaks to you you're most welcome to come and join us it's starting on the 31st of March and it, they're going to be just four hours where we can yeah, be in retreat and be in silence and meditation and you'll be guided into exploring these territories and then there'll be a chance for us to circle and do practices and, and learn about these territories, learn about these different ways of navigating our experience. And in this way, what I see is kind of a cross paradigmatic practice. We, we're using different paradigms. We're, we're using knowledge from the psychotherapeutic paradigms around attachment and trauma. And then we're, we're navigating like the spiritual traditional paradigms where we're looking at meditation and the truth and opening to experience and then integrating them with these like model, modern integrated uh, ways of seeing uh, being human so yeah thank you for listening and hope to see some of you soon <laughs>